Hi, welcome back to my YouTube tutorials. This is ABM Graphics. Yes, today I just want to show you grading color, color grading in Photoshop. How to change or just add any filter to a picture so that it will look nice. Maybe after retouching, you retouch, you retouch your picture, you do anything to really smooth it, but you want to add some extra color to it so that it will look beautiful. How do you do that in Photoshop? Let's just go into it. Bang. So, welcome back. What we need to do over here is that <coughs> let's just go to our Photoshop like this. So, let's just import in the image. I want to use uh, which picture? Let me use this beautiful girl picture over here. Let me make it this way. So there is the picture that I'm going to use, and you can see that the retouching has already done, and she's beautiful. Yes, she's beautiful, and the retouching too is so distant. You get that? Yes. So I just want to add some filter in so that it will look more different, like this, and beautiful. What? How do you do that? What do you need? Firstly, what you need to do is that go straight. And add a gradient map. This particular gradient map is going to help you a whole lot of getting filter, getting lab, get a whole lot of thing. Okay, yes. So you just come and click over here. This particular this thing over here that's creating new field or adjustment layer. That one we call it adjustment layer. So you can just click on it, then you come to gradient like this yes fine in this case if let me close this thing up if you really want to get the 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 the, 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 the filter for the person's key what you need to do is that after you have something like this over there just at activate this one and open this one right here okay right now i want to have somewhere like three one two three you get that so this one it will be for the dark skin or like check from the person whole body where you see that it's very darker you get that then you select that particular color over there so i'll check over here and i can see that this is the only place that is so dark yes so we just come and select that particular uh, this thing over there sorry why is it not selecting okay okay sorry about that the reason why it is not selecting is that because this particular round uh, this uh, uh, rectangular this thing has uh, has selected this one but not this one so you have to select it you have to select this one okay then you click this way then you make it three in the middle so 50 50 percent we see it 50 yes so you click over here then you come and select that particular two that particular color right there so here so darker so just pick it over there it's okay then you come and you come over here you leave the the, 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 the middle then you come over here and this particular thing should be a color that is so lighter you see here is light here is light so just come and select it over there like that then you come over here and just select any random color any color at all that is not light and that is not dark how do you get that just check on the this thing or just try and get something like this for somewhere here it's okay so you see the transformation this one has come over here and this one has lasted over here then you click okay then you can activate it so you see the filter the side the filter will be so the next thing that you have to do is go and change the blinding mode from normal to what to soft light you do it like this and you can see that even though i have not done anything to it the picture looks so beautiful you get that yes so from there you can decide to reduce the the, the, the opacity to do to, to, to any number that you like so that you the the the, the, the this thing will look so beautiful for you this is first step when added the next step is that you don't need to select all these things all what you need to do is to 
come and click on the adjustment layer then you're going to a gradient map like this then the next thing you have to do is to click here and just select any kind of thing just select them you select this one you select this one you select that one you select just select this one and i, I like you oh, i like that when you select something that it looks beautiful like this okay then you're going to change the blinding mode to soft light over here you can see the beautifulness of the picture so that is how we upgrade picture we we, we create color in when it comes to photoshop you can reduce the distance so that it will look so realistic yes so realistic okay let's see the transformation this way how there is the the, 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 the normal then you will do this to it normal then you do this to it and if the person sees the picture the person is going to look Cause this is some this is something good that you have done over there. So that is how we have we are this is second second what second step when it comes to adding color or changing the person color. You can open it and start clicking. Maybe you will get different color again. You see that? You see that? You see that? You see that? You see? You see? Yes. So that is how that thing has been done then the next thing that the next step that you will do is that you will come back to the adjustment layer then you create gradient uh, gradient map then you change the distance to soft light then you come and click over here then the gradient type the solid you change it to noise then the roughness is you make it zero okay i've i've done this in my already the tutorial that then already is there then you start clicking on our random lights just to get a beautiful color for your for, for the picture to look very beautiful and you know yes let's use this kind of picture for now we ever use this kind of uh, lighting over there so let's use this one so i'll, just, I'll reduce this the distance to somewhere 50. yes somewhere 50. so you can see the transformation 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 let me add this one to it and let me add this one to it you see that i've added almost three and a half less than at the end of the day you get that yes so thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and this is how we 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 we, we do colors like we add filter to a picture to make it look beautiful thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye